It looks a bit like an elaborate computer game, one that needs 3D glasses and a good eye for biochemical structure. That's just a man. That's a three sigma map. Yep. Wow. This is no game, but University of Saskatchewan scientist Louis Del Bar does see it all as a puzzle, something he's loved solving since he was a boy. Finally get the finished product, uh, the last piece, and you fit it in. I mean, we used to work on those puzzles for days, if not weeks, especially during summer holidays. It was a, a fun thing to do. Today, Louis Del Bar solves puzzles for a living. His latest largest scale puzzle is in building with colleague Pavel Grohulski the very first crystallography beam line at Canada's only synchrotron facility, the Canadian light source on the U of S campus. Well, to have it right on site would be so fantastic because we've had to previously send our samples abroad. The beam line will be designed to use X-ray light to image crystal structures, the tiny puzzles Louis studies in his lab with assistant Yvonne Leduc. Louis probes each structure to find the active or receptor sites where key chemical reactions occur. Then he figures out what might fit in to prevent or change those reactions. And then we can see directly how to synthesize a drug that would fit into that receptor site. Drugs designed this way are highly targeted, so have fewer side effects. Louis's current work also involves designing safer herbicides and probing this enzyme, which is key to producing glucose and which may lead to new treatments for diabetes. In the world of science, though, there's always an added pressure to solving puzzles like these, the race against time. Oh, yes, it's very competitive. There are many, many people working on similar projects, so it's, it's, a, it's a matter of being able to get credit for the work that you've done in time before someone else. The scoops you on it. So. Finishing the puzzle. That's right, finishing the puzzle first <laughs> and publishing it. <laughs> Louis knows all too well what it feels like to be scooped. As a young graduate student in synthetic chemistry, just as he was ready to publish some important research results, another scientific team beat him to it. <laughs> yes, it was quite a low point in my life at that time. <laughs> he can laugh now, but the blow led him to move into a whole new area of science crystallography. Gorgeous crystal. And it took a few weeks to grow. The wow, patterns formed so by nice. crystallized proteins and enzymes are beautiful under a microscope, but under a synchrotron's powerful X-ray light, their deeper structure is revealed, first as complex diffraction images, then as three-dimensional images. You can see the individual atoms pretty well. Today, as Canada Research Chair in Structural Biochemistry, Louis Del Bar is known as one of this country's top crystallography researchers. And some of his work has truly been out of this world. Three, two, one, zero, and liftoff! Louis's team at the U of S was the first Canadian lab to grow protein crystals in space aboard the space shuttle Discovery. Do you remember what you were feeling when you were... Kate there and, that day? And, and her, yeah, well, we're quite excited. <laughs> Here are some photographs of our uh, viewing of the launch. He's also successfully grown crystals on Mir, the Russian space station. Perhaps the sweetest victory, though, was Louis's world first, with U of S colleagues Margaret Van Donselaar, Robert Hickey, and Wilson Quayle in demonstrating how an antipsychotic drug bound to a protein and slowed down the growth of cancer cells. It was a major breakthrough, published in the prestigious journal Nature. So, did that take away the sting of being scooped years ago? Yes, it did, as a matter of fact. And to accomplish that, yes, it was, it was a tremendous feeling. So, it was some, uh, well, a good feeling, especially after being scooped the first time. <laughs> These days, Louis' excitement is building once again. Recently, they achieved light in the beam line. And with the first diffraction images and data now available, it seems the final pieces are falling into place for this master puzzle solver. Yeah, okay, sure, I'd like to see that. Uh, I'm thrilled that we will have uh, what we need to do our, our experiments right on site. I mean, that, that's a tremendous boost to, to, to people here. That's my biggest dream, to get this, this, our CLS beamline working properly. For Research News at the University of Saskatchewan, I'm Jennifer Weber.